plan was to canoe to the Gulf of Mexico. But this is where we got to. Carruthersville, Missouri, about 900 miles from the start and 700 or so from the Gulf of Mexico. This is the Mississippi River in flood stage. We pulled out here because we didn't feel even close to being safe anymore. I'm Jay Callahan. And I'm Sarah Jo Jacobs. The idea was born in Berea, Kentucky, where we both live, work, and go to school. It was here we received support from our friends, family, community, and from Berea College. first few weeks of the summer, we assembled our gear, got to know our camera, and prepared for the river. After making sure everything fit into the canoe, on May 16th, we loaded up and set off for West Virginia.
island.
Those ones down there, boo rain shower. Beautiful in Illinois, where everything is flat. But the trees are like that. It's flat. Yay, blue sky! Ohio River, day 35 or something like that. Over there, on the other side of that island, that's where the Cumberland River comes in. And that's the Smithland Lock and Dam behind us that we just came through. And maybe you can tell the water is brown and very muddy and gross. It's full of trees and lots of stuff because it's been raining for like three days solid. And Sarah Joe's making some noodles because we're soggy and noodles relieve the negative symptoms of sog. We're also making coffee in our little canoe. About to hit a tree. Oh, we're about to hit a tree. See, there's one right, right there, tree, all over. Anyway, um, that's Illinois over there and that's Kentucky over there. It's nice and muddy, uh, but we're about 15 miles away from Paducah where we're gonna have a bed. Yay, beds! Beds, hurrah! Okay, that's all. morning we were at in Paducah at 9:35 and we left Paducah and we've already come about 13 miles today and we are right about at 9:48 um the water's really calm and we have stellar current there's not much to see here. That's Illinois. That's Jay. He's Adeline. And that's Kentucky. That's a bridge we passed over. Last night we stayed with John and Jean. And John we met through couch surfing and was super kind and nice. We also got help from the Mariners, appropriately named. His dad was a steamboat captain. And that's been our day so far. What do you have to say about that, sir? Everything is white and flat and blue. And he loves it. Maybe he doesn't. Okay, well, aside from that, everything's great. Anyone living or working along the Ohio River knows how unpredictable it can be during flood season. Well, flood warnings now out for the Ohio River. And any additional rainfall continues to seep into the rivers. 
Now this is just one of the areas that's been impacted by this fast rising water. And it's likely to stay this way for at least the next few days. Flood stage is 52 feet, but the expected crest is now 56.5 feet. Some rivers are rising at rates of like 20 feet in one hour. It is expected to crest at 55 feet on Sunday. And that means people up and down the banks are keeping a very watchful eye out tonight. Installing the floodgate at Carr Street in anticipation of the rising river levels. Now, this is the first time they've done that since 2011. And that's the last time the river got this high. And right now, people are taking action to stay safe. That river is going to remain above flood stage, so we are far from out of the woods or out of the water just yet. Of not going is greater than the pain of going. Maybe it's the shadow of the Mississippi River looming up ahead of us that is coloring our ideas of the river today. So, that up there is a big ass dam that is under construction. You're going to take out two small wicket dams, which are dams that are usually made of these metal grates that are laying down flat against the river bottom when the water is normal, but when it's really low, they lift them up to create a pool. So we went over both of those without noticing them, and they're replacing them with this thing with things like that, big ass scary tugboats and barges. And the water here doesn't look like it from the lens, but it's super rough and angry. And we just came through from over there to here, and we're alive. And we're doing a great job. Doing a great job. Yay, not dead. But see that bank just fell down. Holy shit. I mean, shucks. And that tree is just like, man, this is the worst. Look at that. What the hell? Why do they keep washing it away? Anyway, that's all. That point up there, and that bridge crosses the Mississippi River, so the point. And that is the Mississippi River in front of us. It's huge. Those are bajillion barges. That's the Ohio River. The bridge back there is the Ohio River. Goodbye, Ohio River. Downstream of the confluence, but we missed it because the current was too strong. We couldn't fight it and turn around, so we ended up here, which is an Army Corps dock, I think. And the current, the river is at flood stage at 40 feet, and it's at like 45, 46 feet. So it's in heavy flood stage, and nothing short of totally freaking terrifying. It's awesome. Look at that buoy. That's a channel marker. And it's anchored to the bottom of the Mississippi River. And just a second ago, it just popped up out of the water. It's getting dragged under. Needless to say, we're going quite fast. We're going so fast. I suppose that's a good icon for the day. I'm Jay and this is here Joe and we're pretty tense you know over there's a tree there's a tree over there and uh, we started way way back up there you know only like an hour ago so we're going like seven or eight miles an hour which is two or three times faster 
than we were going. That's the bank that is uh, super floody. Super floody baby. Beep, 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 beep. What a good name. Hi, Jane, Sarah, Joe. We're in the Mississippi River downstream of New Madrid, not New Madrid, New Madrid, and Hickman, where we stayed the night. We stayed the night on a beach. Stayed the, the night the other night. Last night we were on some boat dock yeah. in the middle of nowhere. And we're upstream about 30 miles of Carothersville. And that's our next big stop. And our next big, big goal is Memphis. And we figure that this is long and hard and wide and quiet and dangerous. And we was holding onto a branch earlier and got caught up in the current and Trying to not get swept into a barge, about filled up with water, freaked out. We lived though. Normal day. Good morning. Today is our last day on the river. That's smarter than stupider. Um, the water levels got way really too high, and um, the amount of debris and barges were going so fast, and we risk our lives one too many times to be comfortable on the river anymore. So we're postponing our trip. more than halfway. We're 40 days in. We're making good time, but we would like to be alive. So. The river is unpleasant, you know, most of the time. More than not. So, there she is. Here's a reason. Uh, we couldn't even. Unpredictable currents. There's some more reasons, barges. We just never really know what's gonna happen and it's a little sad and a little relieving and a still a little frightening and also kind of comforting because it'll still always be there. What did you learn, Jake Callahan? and how to try to be wise. I guess what's the difference between courageous and stupid? We're glad we didn't have to find out. Well, that's a good lesson. I learned a lot from you. I learned how to keep going even when it's really, really hard. And to ignore some of the discomfort. Just bugs. Just bugs. Except that there's 400,000 of them and they're all sucking your blood at the same time. Yeah, but I ignored it and it's gonna be really tough to go back to anybody but you. Bye, River. A heck of a time. A heck of a time. <laughs> Thank you.
Joe Jacobs. We're today's Wednesday in the first half of our lives and we're just leaving Hickman, Kentucky. We're almost out of Kentucky. And up there is the Mississippi River.